here is a case of left sided renal stone disease where we want to demonstrate how to identify a mid posterior calyx while doing prone PCNL. You can see in the image provided that there is a solitary pelvic stone with a ureter catheter in situ. On doing RGP, you can see initially the dense contrast gets settled in the anterior calyces while doing prone PCNL. You can see clearly slowly the calyces are getting opacified. If we focus on to the middle calyx, now the calyx which is seen here, which is oriented more laterally is the mid anterior calyx. The posterior calyx is not seen initially. So to identify the mid posterior calyx, an air pilogram was done. Now you can see after injecting air, as pointed out by the needle, a faint white area is seen medially overlying close to the pelvis. Now to confirm whether it is a mid posterior calyx, you need to turn the CM from 0 to 30. Now you can notice that the calyx has moved medially. Again, we are showing once again with the pointer. You can see this faint area on 0 degree CM when we rotate the CM to 30 degree, it actually turns more medially. See, you can clearly notice it turning more medially overlying the pelvis. So this confirms that a calyx which rotates from lateral to medially on, on 0 to 30 degrees is considered to be a posterior calyx. Now using a bullseye technique, the same calyx is targeted. You can see how in 30 degree, the needle is aligned in line with the axis of the infundibular. Now after aligning the needle, slowly advance the needle inside and see the depth of the needle in 0 degree. So after this, a clear efflux of saline confirms the needle position in the pelvic calcial system. Now you can see how a guide wire when it is passed through a mid posterior calyx goes directly into the ureter. because this forms a straight path to the PUJ. Now the same calyx is confirmed on endoscopy. Now you can see here, when I am pulling out the amplage a little bit back, you see this is the calyx which we have punctured. This is a mid posterior calyx. You can see here a perfect puncture is shown by the infundibulum being seen in front of you after you enter into the calyx. So now this is the pelvic stone. Now after doing pneumatic lithotripsy, slowly the stone was completely cleared in 30 minutes. Now at the end of the procedure, you can see the pelvic uretic junction and this is the mid posterior calyx where we have entered. So you can even see the papilla on the right side and now slowly I am withdrawing my ampla sheet and you can notice how the track was there. So this is the renal capsule you can clearly see slowly now you see this is a renal capsule which is shown now slowly we are withdrawing and these are the intercostal muscles and we did a tubeless procedure in this case thank you